Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today, we're going to look at how to build a city in literally just minutes. A pretty good looking city at that. So if you are lazy but want cities, this is the perfect video for you. In order to do this, we're going to need a couple of things. First, what you see in front of you, this is, of course, the open source software Blender, and it is version 3.2.2. Now, this is very important because one of the tools we're going to use today requires Blender 3.20 or later. So make sure that you're running a reasonably current version of it. The next thing you need to do, of course, is sacrifice a default cube as this is the way. So goodbye default cube. Okay, so we're going to need a couple of pieces of software. They're both available over on Gumroad. They're both completely free, uh, donation based. So if you really like them, obviously you can give a tip here, uh, but you can also say zero and go ahead and download the files accordingly. The first one is Blender OSM. This is OpenStreetMap integration for Blender. Uh, there is also a premium version of this that has uh, additional features. A lot of them, you're, you're, none of them you're going to need for this particular video, by the way. Uh, but there is an upgraded version. So if you like this, get the premium version, but we're going to use the completely free version for this example. We're also going to use a tool called Buildify. This is a tool for building buildings, and we're going to see it. In fact, it's integrated using a set of geometry nodes. You get a default building set with it. By the way, the author of this, uh, Pavel Oliva, he also has... Um, a modular desert kit. So this style of building uh, that you can use with Buildify, which in turn you can use with Blender OSM. So go ahead and download both of those files. This is just a blend file. There's also a PDF document shows you how to go ahead and use it, but I'm going to explain all that in this video today and grab OSM. So once you've got OSM, it is a plugin for Blender. So what you're going to want to do is go to edit preferences, go to your add-ons tab, go to install, and then pick the uh, zip file that you already grabbed. So like this guy right here, I've already actually installed it. So in this case, it's not gonna do anything. But if you search for OSM, you're going to find it is located right here. Make sure that this check mark is checked. Now you're ready to go with Blender OSM. You'll notice if you go back to a 3D view and click the end button to bring up your tool menu over here, you now have this tab called OSM. Now OSM has a couple of cool capabilities, but mostly it integrates, so you got Okay, uh, my screen just flashed for some reason. Uh, you've got the option of bringing in from a number of different locations, but we're going to use OpenStreetMap, so make sure that that is selected. And then we're going to go up here and go to Select. This will open up a browser with a map of the world. Now, what we're going to do is locate the region of the world that we are interested in. I am from Toronto, so I will use Toronto. And basically, just keep zooming in on the map. For some reason, OSM, is this is actually being... Uh, kind of slow for me today. So I'm going to get a region selected and then unpause it. Okay, so for that now selected, what I want to do is go show selection rectangle and just pick the area that I'm interested in. Obviously, the bigger area you pick, the uh, more intensive this is going to be. So I'm just going to grab this little chunk of city right here. All right, so there's what we want. And now that we've got that, basically our coordinates are down here. Those are what we need, but we're just gonna go ahead and click copy. That will encode them all for us. So now we head on back over to Blender and you're gonna notice up here, you've got the option of paste and it will paste in the GPS or not, yeah, I guess it's GPS coordinates of it right there. And if you're working with 3D, what you do is just go ahead and do an import. Oh, I need to set the data directory. Okay, so I need to set my data directory first. Uh, my bad, missed a step, go back here. Go to this guy right here, and we'll pick where to save things. And I will just throw things in um, temp. All right, so make sure that when, you, when you're when you in the import settings, set your data directory right there, my bad. All right, so once that's done, go ahead and import. That's the location it's going to use for doing that. And now it's going to pull all of that uh, map information off of the internet and make our city for us. So uh, this can take a few seconds. It's not too, too bad. And there you go, we have a city. Now, you may find that city is a little bit less than ideal simply because, well, it's pretty low uh, resolution on the whole. Now, one thing you're gonna notice though is you got neat setups here. So you got uh, the various different, so footways, so your sidewalks and so on. Uh, your various different roads are available here. So your residential roads are available there. Uh, tertiary roads and so on. So what you can actually do now is just apply a texture map for the various different kinds of roads and it will work accordingly and quite good. Now the problem is this doesn't look very great. Now you brought in a real world map and you got a neat looking um, city for sure, uh, but not really what we wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll start a new map like so. Don't save that default cube, sacrifice another one and come back up here, OSM. And we're gonna paste again. So we have the same area going on. But what I'm gonna do now is switch over to 2D 
And now with 2D, you see down here, we have the option here for picking a geometry node. This is the geometry node network that is gonna go ahead and generate the buildings in our map. So this is gonna make our city look so much nicer. So we're gonna go ahead, click here, go to the downloads folder where you downloaded Buildify. You wanna pick Buildify's blend file like so, and just accept it. Now, the last thing you need to do is switch from walls over here to building. And once you have done that, we just go ahead and do an import again. And now instead of using those ugly buildings that we looked at earlier on, it's going to use Buildify to create those buildings. And we're going to get a much nicer looking city. So give it a second because uh, it's got a decent amount of work to do. So we've got a bit of a busy prompt going on here, but there we go. So now we have a city with some nice looking Buildify generated buildings. Now, again, you can set up Buildify to make multiple different uh, building styles. So um, if you send in, again, I'm, I showed you earlier on, uh, do, 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 do here, uh, he has this modular kit, for example. So you could set it up to use these walls to give more of a medieval style. Uh, the original ones that he uses in his own example here for Buildify itself uh, came from uh, the Unreal Engine's Megascans library. So if you want to create your own uh, building facades and so on, uh, you can do so. The instructions for doing so are in the PDF. But as you can see here, let me just switch over to a textured view. We have a much cooler looking city going on. And yeah, you could create cities in literally seconds using this guy. And then you can actually grab the, uh, the buildings that are actually generated. You're gonna notice down here, they're actually using geometry nodes to generate them. And you see minimum number of floors, maximum number of floors. So I could do something like, okay, let's switch that up to 10. Like so, and then switch this down to two, like so. And then I think I need to go to ADE mode, so um, the guided mode. And there you see, we now have buildings of varying and different heights. So I could go here again, let's make this 20. And there you see, we got some little buildings, we've got skyscrapers and so on. Gives you a ton of power and flexibility over how things work. So you can build cities there really, really quickly this way. Now, the cool thing here is you can actually use uh, the whole Buildify thing on its own. So I'm gonna show you how that actually works. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll open up that project. So we're not gonna save our newly generated city because hey, we could just create another one in just seconds. I'll go here to downloads, go to Buildify 1.0 and open this guy up. So here you can see what Buildify is like. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do that without the, well, here you can see. So here are the various different things that are going with it. So here you've got collections, basically a flat roofs of um, trimming, middle floors, and so on. All the various different things that work together to go ahead and create this. So you can create and feed in different collections. So there's various different collections that are available there of all the various different uh, geometry that went together to create the building. So if you want to create your own collections to have different uh, pieces go together in as part of this procedural graph, uh, you can do so by creating them in these collections accordingly. Uh, but the end result is ultimately this guy. Now, the cool thing here is I can actually go ahead uh, with Buildify um, and with that geometry node setting going on, I can create my own entity in this world. So uh, let me switch to a standard UI. And I'm just gonna do that by loading this guy again, but not loading in their selected UI. I always find other people's UIs very, very confusing. So file, open, load UI as no, and open that guy up. Apparently you have to close the version to get it to work like that. So anyways, here you could see uh, our Buildify uh, created generated node. Again, you could come in here to the geometry node settings for this. Uh, we can switch if when we're in ADE mode and we can start doing things like changing. So we can make skyscrapers. Uh, we can make low rises. You can have minimum heights. So that'll affect each kind of segment. Obviously it's not, uh, it's not a value that can be used indiscriminately. So there's certain uh, minimums you're going to want to go with on that one. But there's some really cool things you can do with this, but you can also create your own uh, no problem at all. So what I'm going to do here, switch over. And what we're going to do is go ahead and create a mesh of type plane. And where are you plane? There we go. Uh, I don't know where that actually created that. So let's just go ahead and move this to our origin like so. And we will do grab X and move it over here. All right, so there is our plane object. And what I can do is I can basically go take, oops, did not mean to do that. Let's go back here. I can take this guy and I can basically go into edit mode like so, and I can just start grabbing it. Uh, so I want to do edge mode like that. I'm going to do uh, an extrude. And then very importantly, I'm going to hit the Y key to stay along the Y axis. And I'm just going to pull it out this way. Now I'm going to grab this guy right here. And we're going to do, uh, again, extrude. And in this case, very important, keep it along the X axis. So hold down the X. And then we can do other things. Like I can go ahead and do a knife tool here. 
like so, and then enter. And then I can just grab this face right here. Then I can do an extrude. Oops, I did not follow my own advice. So what I want to do is extrude, and then hit the Y key and follow along the Y axis. So there we've got the basis of our shape. Go ahead and hit the object mode. So there is the outlines. And what I can do is I can go over here uh, to the modifiers property and just go ahead and add a geometry nodes like so, and then open up. So obviously our um, Buildify is right here. We're gonna go ahead and pick building. And then boom, it's going to create a building using that profile. So very, very cool. Once again, uh, you can control how said building works. So if we say we wanna have it and be a skyscraper, boom, it's a skyscraper. And again, you can come into the geometry node settings of this guy and um, you know change it however you wish. You can add your own collections. Uh, so you can have all of these basically be different. You can have more of a sci-fi style, a different style. You could use this other pack for the desert style and so on. And then keep in mind that this here is again uh, a non-destructive, uh, modifier stack so you could go ahead and do other changes on this guy or you could create that base shape procedurally uh, there's tons of things you can do now one very important thing to be aware of here though and let's go ahead and get rid of this stack the reason why i was so stringent about holding down and extruding along a specific axis is this needs to be planar so if i grab any one of these and so it's this guy i'm going to gz and i'm going to move it up uh, okay and then so gy move it this way so see we're no longer completely planar like so go back to object mode add my modifier in geometry nodes and then pick our building you're going to notice okay it didn't it didn't mangle it that bad this time so actually go ahead we'll undo that so we'll grab this guy and i'll grab one of the profiles so it might be one of the interior interiors you can get rid you can get away with it but let's do it with that one right there and again pick building and there you see so if it's non-planner you start getting some pretty funky designs. So make sure that when you're creating the profile uh, for your building shapes, that you keep it confined uh, to one axis and then you're, you're good to go. Otherwise you start getting some oddities like so. So again, just keep it planner uh, as best as possible like so, and your building will work out perfectly. And again, it is all uh, dynamic. So you can grab this guy, so GX, let's move this guy out that way, change it out again. And then let's go ahead and check and take a look at our geometry node and put the building back on it, and then boom, that profile is used using all of the collections that you've got set up right there. Uh, so you can do some really, really cool buildings with this guy uh, really, really quickly, and you combine it again with OSM. Uh, again, the only thing you gotta be aware of when you're using OSM is that you select 2D mode, and the other thing is, unfortunately, uh, terrain is not supported as of yet. Also, the other key thing is once you have selected uh, the Buildify blend file right here, do make sure you select building as your options right there. Otherwise, boom, import, and it goes ahead and creates your city using the Buildify tools uh, to create. So you could also create your own versions of the Buildify blends. So you could basically take this guy, clone it, make moderations or different versions of it you wished, and use those as the importer. And hey, it wouldn't be a demo without a crash. So that's a great place for us to end the hands-on portion. Blender just crashed. It happens. Uh, so what you see here, again, the key pieces of this demonstration are Blender OSM, uh, which is OpenStreetMap integration. There is a premium version available, but you do not need to use the premium version. And Buildify here from Pavel Oliva. Um, and it is, again, very, very well documented. So if you go in here and go, I want this, I think this is the I want this right here. You do it. Uh, you'll find there's a PDF document here that you can download as well. It walks you through all the details you need to know. So if you want to create your own version using your own um, like facades and decorations on the outside, etc., uh, it is all documented how to work with it right there. Uh, but for the most part, I showed you everything you need to know to get going. There is also, again, a modular desert kit, which you can bring in and start with right there. Again, this is also available for free from him, and it will work with his Buildify settings. Um, very cool project. And if you have any questions, of course, he does have his Discord. The link is available uh, right there. So I will link to uh, both this guy, uh, this guy, and Blender OSM all in the linked article down below. So if you want to go ahead and start creating your own cities in just minutes, uh, you can do so. Some really cool stuff. Blender geometry nodes have really brought uh, some exciting things to the table. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.